3,000 ducats. It's a good round sum. Three months from 12, then let me see the... Signor Antonio, many a time and often the Rialto you have rated me about my monies and my businesses. Still have I borne it with a patient shrug, for sufferance is the badge of all our tribe. You call me misbeliever, cutthroat dog, and spit upon my Jewish gabardine, and all for use of that which is mine own. Well, then it now appears you need my help. Go to then. You come to me. <laughs> you say, Shylock, we would have money. You say so, you, that did void your room upon my beard and foot me as you spurn a stranger cur over your threshold. Money's is your suit. What shall I say to you? Shall I not say at the dog money? Is it possible a cur can lend 3,000 ducats? Or shall I bend low and in the bondman's key say this, Fair sir, you spat on me on Wednesday last, you spurned me such a day, another time you called me dog, and for these courtesies I'll lend you thus much money. Huh? Oh, why, look you, how you storm. I would be friends with you and have your love, forget these shames that you have stained me with, supply your present wants and ask no doit of usance for my monies and you'll not hear me. This is kind I offer. This kindness will I show. Go with me to a notary. Seal me there your single bond. And if you pay me not on such a day in such a place, such sums or sums as are expressed in the condition, let the, the forfeit be nominated for um, an equal pound of your fair flesh to be cut off and taken in what part of your body pleaseth me. Oh, Father Abram, what these Christians are, whose own hard dealings teaches them, suspect the thoughts of others. I pray you, tell me this. If he should break his day, what shall I gain by the exaction of this forfeiture? A pound of man's flesh taken from a man is not so estimable, profitable neither as fish of as flesh of muttons, beeves, or goats. To buy his favour, I extend this friendship. If he will take it, so. If not, adieu. And for my love, I pray you wrong me not.